All right, y'all. Your boy is about to take this back. I'm about to take it back to 1995. The year Casper came out. With my girl, Christina Ritchie, who I had a crush on back in the day. To me, this is the best scene in the movie. The dance scene when Casper was human for, you know, for, for a little minute. You know, he was able to get his little dance on. And I remember how I was feeling when I seen this shit. Because, you know, back, back in those days... You know, when you in school, going to the dance and having the right girl to dance with, that shit was important, you know what I'm saying? Like, you seen that shit in movies, how you had to have the right girl, or your ass gonna be standing on the wall, looking at everyone else, had, you know, doing their thing on the dance floor. That's how it was back in the day. You know, we were living that life. People in my age range, that's how we did it back in the day, you know? You had to have the right girl to be on that dance floor. And when you did have the right girl, all eyes were on you. That's how it was, you know what I'm saying? I always had the right one in school. I don't know. I wasn't the tallest guy. I wasn't the most handsome guy, you know what I'm saying, in school. But I had, you know, certain, you know, back then, they called it swag. So I had like a little, you know, certain swag about me, you know what I'm saying, back then. Yeah, you know, people just flocked to me, you know what I'm saying? I just had that. I don't know. He was just like being around me back in the day. And of course, I had the number one girl in school. You know, the girl that everybody wanted to be with. You know, I went to uh, Lock Elementary. You know what I'm saying? And I went to one of the worst high schools in Chicago. But I still lived that life. You know what I'm saying? I always had the right girl, the pretty girl, you know what I'm saying, with me, by my side. So that's why I take to this scene so much because it just brings that nostalgia feeling back. It makes you think about when you were that age, how you felt during that time, how you just felt like you were the, I don't know, it, it's just, it's a different feeling back in the day when you young like that, man, and you got your sweetheart right there on the side of you. But we finna uh, get this started, y'all. This the little dance scene when she first seen Casper as a human, it shocked the shit out of her, all eyes were on Casper, and he was walking through the crowd, you know what I'm saying? I know y'all remember this scene. Oh, we finna check it out, y'all. Let's go. Hope you two let me post this shit. You know, growing up as a, you know, when you're a little boy, every boy wanted that uh, train set that goes around the whole entire room. You know what I'm saying? We all wanted that. A lot of motherfuckers can, couldn't afford it, but we all wanted that. Uh, if I'm wrong, I'm sorry, but I believe her name is Amy Bremer, Bremerman, some shit like that. So y'all hit me up in the comments and let me know what her name is. I know she's, one of the movies that I really liked her in was, uh, it was a Vesta Long movie. Uh, what the fuck was it called? Uh, I know he had to go rescue a group of people that was stuck on the ground from an explosion. Daylight. I think that's what she played on. That was a very noble thing you did tonight, Casper. I know Kat will never forget it. She needs her father. She let my angel come visit me and she look like that. <laughs> we gonna get some supernatural shit going on, you know what I'm saying? I know he is very, very proud of you. And for what you've done, I'm giving you your dream. I bet suit your, uh, supernatural sex is good. I bet it is. <laughs> Find Peter Parker. Oh, come on with these commercials. Find Peter Parker. 
but I don't want to find Peter Parker. Sort of a Cinderella deal. So I have until midnight. Ten. Hey, Cinderella got until midnight. Cinderella wasn't twelve years old. Hmm. That song. Who understands it all? Reaches out each time we fall. You're the best friend that I found. I know you can't. You know what? Hell no. If you dancing with me, you ain't finna be looking at no another dude. I don't care who the hell he is. I ass gonna be on me. You turn around and go look at another dude, you can get the hell up away from me for real. I'll go grind me another one. My girl ain't finna be turning around looking at no dude like that. It, it ain't finna happen. Look at her. Ain't no way my girl gonna do that. around like that if you lose your way think mm -hmm. back on yesterday remember me this way Ooh, remember me this way you know if y'all don't get it with the song remember me this way Casper always wanted to be human. He always wanted people to, you know, see him as a real person, not a ghost. And that's as far as the song, you know, in a way, he doesn't want her to, he want her to remember him like that. Basically, that's what the song, that's why they was playing this certain song during this scene. If y'all was a uh, fan of Casper, the friendly ghost, the cartoon, then y'all would know. Casper always wanted to fit in. For real. <laughs> I told you I was a good dancer. Can I keep you? Can I keep you? If you all didn't see the movie spoiler alert, he said that in the movie. Can I keep you? It's an old ass movie, so actually it's not a spoiler. If you haven't seen Casper, there's something fucking wrong. But that's how she knew exactly who he was when he said that shit. Casper, Let me take it back. <laughs> you know, back in the day, the only time motherfuckers would spread away like that, if it's a dance contest, like motherfuckers finna go at it and dance or as a fight. That's the only time motherfuckers would, uh break off like that and make a circle. Only two reasons. You dancing against someone or you're fighting. That's it. That's how it was, y'all, in the 80s and 90s. You know, Bill Pullman always, like, played goofy roles, but he's a damn good actor. Damn, I liked him in uh, Spaceballs and, of course, Independence Day. But a lot of people remember him from this role here. But Spaceballs, that was the shit. Y'all got to check that out. Uh, rest in peace to... Um, uh, shit, what's his name? Who played... Uh, fuck, what's his name? John Candy. Rest in peace to John Candy, you know what I'm saying? Hello, 
Hello, James. <clears throat> I don't. I don't think nobody gonna be that calm if they see someone that passed on. I don't care who it is. I do not care if I see someone they approach me right now that passed on. I'm out that door. I'm out that door. I, 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 I ain't no one finna be floating up to me like that. I don't care. I'm gone. You can float. I'm running. That's how it is. It's all right. It's just me. But I do have a hundred things to say when I... Oh. Let's just say you know three crazy ghosts who kept their word. James, I know you've been searching for me, but there's something you have to understand. You and Kat loved me so well when I was alive, but I have no unfinished business. Please don't let me be yours. James, Cat is growing up beautifully because of you. No wonder I miss you so much. Just a couple things, though. Don't pick up the extension every time she gets a phone call. French fries are not a breakfast food. Mm -hmm. And don't ask her to wear a t-shirt. I need to listen to that, because I'm always giving my daughter, like, junk food and shit for breakfast. Lunch and dinner. I don't know. Under her bathing suit. I know. Her daughter is a teenager. Oh. <laughs> Get on out of here, y'all. Uh -huh. Who? <laughs> 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 I did a backflip. I gotta try that. It's been a while. That's a party. So hit me up in the comments and let me know what y'all think. You know what I'm saying? I know I took a lot of y'all back to memory lane. You know what I'm saying? It's one of the, you know, to this day, that movie still holds up. It's a classic. You know, a lot of people watch that movie on Halloween. I watch it once a year now. I don't watch it a lot because you don't want to, you know, ruin a movie by watching it so much. Like my mom, she watched The Ten Commandments. Every goddamn year on uh, I don't know. I got to ask her. Is it on, does she watch it on Christmas or does she watch it on New Year's? I think she watches it on Christmas every year. Every year. She has not missed a year since I was a kid. Every year, y'all. And, you know, Ten Commandments is like eight hours long. <laughs> Man, I love that movie, too. But, woo, woo. That's a long ass movie. But, uh, Casper. 
you know, that's one of my favorite scenes in the movie, y'all. So I hope y'all enjoyed this reaction. You know, I'm trying to do some, you know, some different shit. It's getting close to Halloween, you know what I'm saying? I'm starting reacting to a lot of spoofs, a lot of horror, comedy horror. You know, horror that can scare the shit out of you to where you can't go to bed at night. You know, it's coming, y'all. So make sure y'all hit this channel up. Make sure y'all subscribe. That's what's important. Come on, y'all. I'm out of here, y'all. Peace, love, and deuces.